take a little time, a little time to think it over. Better read between the lines, in case I need it when I'm Other sore fingers again with hopefully another interesting lesson for you. This one is a classic song from Foreigner uh, and a song called I Want to Know What Love Is. Okay, standard tuning, no capos. Um, if you want to play along with the band, unfortunately, you will have to detune your guitar by a whole step. Uh, <laughs> So uh, knowing that most of you probably watching this lesson are in standard tuning, I decided to do the lesson in standard tuning so we didn't have to detune our guitars. Okay, but just for reference, if you want to play along with a foreigner, detune your guitar by half a step and play everything I'm about to show you. Okay, so right, having said that, my introduction, right, this is my take on this song, uh, arrangement for single acoustic guitar, okay. So uh, starts off with a, a nice bright single strum on an E minor, somewhere near the bridge somewhere. Followed by a little riff, very simple. Open fifth string, A string, hammers up to the second fret on the uh, same string, the fifth string. Open fourth string, open third string, and then back to an E minor strum. Okay, so it's okay. So when you've gone to the E minor strum, you go to a D chord, to a G chord. Four finger G is definitely preferred. If you don't, uh, you just play a three finger G if you want, but it sounds better with a four finger G. Doubling up on the uh, third fret of the second string and the top E string, okay? Now, the bit in between that, the D chord, you can just play a standard D, but it does sound, shall we say, uh, more like the record <laughs> if you put a F sharp in the bass on the D chord, thumb over, everybody screams, oh no, okay? So, And you've got the climb in bass from the bottom E string, E minor, to the F sharp, to the G. But I know everybody does, not everybody likes that. I never, I never used to like doing the thumb over. So anyway, there's, if you if you want, uh, you can do it that with a thumb over. If you can do that, that's great. You can also play the same chord, D with the F sharp in the bass by using your first finger on the second fret of the bottom E string second finger on the second fret of the third string, the G string, and pinky or the third finger on the third fret of the second string, the B string, and strumming down from bottom E string to the second string, the B string. Don't hit the top E string, just six down to two, yeah? So you can do it like that. So that would become like...
Now, usually, uh, if we're doing, if I do a D with F sharp in the bass, I tend to do use that quite a bit, that shape, because we're going down, usually, from the G to the E minor. So it's... Uh, I find coming back up to the G easier to do it with my thumb over. Okay, so there's two ways of playing that D with an F sharp in the bass, okay? If you can't manage either, just play a D chord, I won't tell anybody, okay? <laughs> it sounds okay with a D, just a straight D, okay? But uh, subtle does sound quite nice with the F sharp in the bass, okay? So um, after the G, so let's get to that point, let's just do that again. So the first part of the intro, E minor, strum, riff, E minor, D with a sharp in the bass, G. Then we're playing a C chord. Either you can play a straightforward C, and then back to the E minor. Okay. I prefer a four finger G myself. Uh, so it's a C chord, basic three fingered C chord. Third finger goes up to the bottom E string on the third fret, and the pinky goes to the third fret on the A string, the fifth string. That way you get a C in a C with added G in the bass, and um, you can get all six strings, you get a nice, slightly deeper sound. Yeah. So it's up to you, but three fingered C is fine. Okay, so the whole intro now. And if we've gone back to the E minor, after the C, we go back to the E minor, we play the riff again. And then we're into the song. Okay, so let's just do the whole intro that I did. the whole intro and then what happens is the singing comes in and we play everything that we've just played the E to the D to the G to the C back to the E minor for the verse okay so let's do the first verse so here we go from the intro <laughs> same as the intro and every every time you go back to the E minor you just can play that if you want to you can play that riff again if not just play the E minor but okay so we just go through that once more because this is the same for every verse this is the way it's played okay so start again So that bit on the end of the first verse is uh, when you come out of that uh, in case I need it when I'm older E minor and it stays there for a whole bar you can put the riff in if you want to but I didn't okay I think it might make it a bit too busy okay so E minor and then what we do is we play a D sixth okay now take a D chord and take off the third finger leave the second string open and you strum that and that's where the ah bit comes in you do that for a, uh, a bar and then what we do is we put the D back together again by putting this third finger back on the third fret of the second string normal D chord and add your pinky to the top E string on the third fret make it a D sus4 and then take your finger off, play a normal D, then a nice strident like you did on the intro, and then the riff. 
then we're back into the second to go into the second verse. Okay, so I'll just go through that very slowly. So um, here we go. From from comes out of case uh, okay, so when I'm all So let's just do the whole thing up to the end of the first verse, including this little uh, frilly bit, <laughs> fancy bit in, uh, between verse one and two. Okay, so here we go. So you'll notice then I added the second verse, which is exactly the same to play as the first verse. Apart from at the end of it, it doesn't do the D6 bit uh, and the oohs and ahs. Okay, it goes into the um, pre-chorus. In my life, there's been heartache and pain. Okay, so you come out of that uh, the last line of the second verse, where it keeps like, the life grows colder. So in my life, okay, because go in my life. Now, what we do with this is in my life, you go to A minor seventh. That's an A minor with the third finger off, open third string, G string open. And then you go, uh, so it goes uh, in my life. And as soon as you've done life, you put the A minor back together again and add that third finger back to the second fret on the third string to make it an A minor. So A minor seventh to A minor. And it goes to a D. And back to the A minor. Then it makes an A minor seventh again, where it goes, I don't A minor, no, third at D. A minor, A minor seventh, A minor, da da D, da da A minor. Okay, then we get the last line, which I'll show you next. So let's just do this, coming out of the last line of the second verse. Kiss me colder in my life. This is pain. I don't and face it again Can't stop now I've travelled so far Okay, got that. It's a mixture of A minor 7th, A minor and D. Okay. And then we go to the last line which is um, Change this lonely life. Okay, so Right, so we start off with this uh, a standard C chord, three fingered C this time. As a change G, this a minor, G, life. And that is a D7 sus 2, I think. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it anyway. Okay, so uh, this final chord is on the life. D7 sus 2 is basically two fingers. First fingers playing the first fret of the second string and my second finger is playing the second fret of the third string. So it's like D seventh without the third finger. Open top E string, okay? Open fourth string, open fifth string, five down to one. Don't forget, first string open, okay? Should sound like that, D seven sus two, okay? So coming out of that, let's do that whole, so that, that whole line is a C, 
it's a G, G this, A minor, a, G, E, D7 sus2. Okay, and then we're going into the chorus. Okay, so this bit coming, I'll just do the, um, the last line, uh, last couple of lines in the second verse going into this pre chorus, okay? So, um, alright, just let me get a look at the words, okay. Oh, sorry, I've got the timing wrong. Sorry, let's do this. <laughs> I forgot I thought I was in line verse one there for a second. Here we go. Okay, so you got that. Do you want to recap? Why not? So, in my life is A minor seventh, yeah? Life. And then make it immediately make it an A minor. There's been D, again, A minor, A minor seventh, I don't, A minor. Of D, to A minor, again, A minor seventh, can't stop, A minor now. I've D travel, so A minor, oh. C, G, A minor, G, D seven sus two. Oh. Four finger G for the chorus. I wanna know what love, right? Get into the song. Right, there's a quick E minor in here, so it's E G. I want to know E minor what love, love is E minor, is D. I want to know what love is A minor. And it's another quick E minor, A minor, da 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 da, D. It's suspended fourth, add your pinky to the third fret, top E string, back to, back to D, and then G again, repeat the whole thing. Okay, so let's just go through this whole chorus again. G. A minor, D, A minor, da, da, A minor, D, suspend, G, da, 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 A minor to D, A minor, da, da, A minor to D. Okay, and then when you've done the whole chorus, two lots of that for the chorus, you end up on the D and I'd stay on there for a bar. And then just do a single sort of suspended fourth, D, take your second finger off, open top E string, back again, and then strident strum on E minor, riff, and then da 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 da, second verse, or third verse in this case, <laughs> okay, second half of the song, shall we say, because he just basically repeats everything again that you've just played with different words, okay? So you've got everything you need now to play the song. There's nothing else in it, okay? So uh, let's try and go through the whole thing, shall we, from uh, that's my demo. So it's an intro, couple of verses, with the uh, funny bit in between verse one and two, uh, pre-chorus and chorus, okay? So here we go. <laughs> Between the lines, because I need to find out. 
so on. Well, there it is, boys and girls. You've got everything you need to play that cracking song. So uh, away you go. <laughs> See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.